Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm Scavenger. Welcome to today's video. I am playing Deep Vault 69. I'm kind of a Fallout fan, kinda. I'm not gonna say I'm a huge one, but I do like the Fallout series, especially like Fallout 3 and then Fallout 4. Never really got into New Vegas, even though I was told that was like one of the best ones. Um, I don't know, I just, you know, Fallout 3 was one of the first games I played. Uh, and probably was the first game I played in the Fallout series and I just absolutely fell in love with it and then New Vegas came around and I just didn't have the same passion for it that I did for the first game I played anyway that's beside the point um, but it, it is kind of why I'm playing this parody um, on the Fallout series it's obviously an adult a visual novel parody um, I call it a parody but you know it, it's just you know, it takes some liberties from the Fallout franchise in an adult world. So um, we're going to go ahead and check it out. It is a visual novel, like I said. But um, well, we're, we're going to see what they do with the, you know, this Fallout theme. So let's go ahead and jump into the game. And, uh, you know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. If you decide you like the video while you're watching, go ahead and smack that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And if you want to see uh, content that I put up here but uncensored you can check out my patreon page the link is in my link tree which should be in the description all right let's get into it all right welcome to a brave new world behind the outer walls of vault number 69 by vault tech has there been a terrifying nuclear war on the surface don't worry our vault is located deep below the surface of the earth and prepared for your extended stay Fresh food, clean water, electricity, and entertainment for you and your descendants from our partners, Ermond Tech. Your descendants? Exactly. The war was terrible, and in order to save the human species, you and your family will have to stay in a vault for some time. Are you afraid of discrimination? You shouldn't. This is a sin of the old world. Compulsory GOAT exam with an accuracy of 10 IQ will determine your future life path your hobbies, and guarantee equality for all. A responsible overseer will do everything to fit your interests. Welcome. Good luck, and see you soon in Great America. The program is approved by the American government and the administration of Voltec. The company is not responsible for your health in case of violations of the living conditions inside the vault, the attack of the post-apocalyptic population, or the atrocities of mutants. There is a possibility of conducting social experiments in the vault. All data is strictly classified. You gotta have that legal mumbo-jumbo, you know, that legal jargon. Anytime you're lying to your audience. All right, so we get to pick our character. Uh, we got what looks like some sort of male. So we got the base. And we got the alt, which seems to be like a female variation. But there is still a bit of, you know, this variation is packing something. I'm going to go with this character, though. This one just looks, I don't know. It looks better. All right, now we get update or upgrade some of our attributes. We start with one in each category. I have three, f I have three free points, so I'm definitely gonna go go. I'm gonna do body. I'm gonna do intelligence. And what does mutation do? Our uh, influence in the development process. I think I'm gonna do. You know, I'm gonna do luck. I'm not sure what mutation is, but I know these other. Three are pretty straightforward. So we're going to start with that. And I don't really care what that says. It looks like uh, our character is 21 years old. All right. So X years later, unknown region. We got Doc run the hill here. Apparently sleeping at work. Doc, I've come for my boobs. <laughs> A loony. What the hell do you want? Um, God, it's only 7 a.m. My name is Luna, Miss Hill. Easy, easy. Slow down a bit. Oh, what a headache. Okay, you already woke me up anyway. What do you need? I know my rights. I'm old enough. I successfully passed the goat, and I require medical assistance. I need t double D. Hmm. All right, my character is somewhere in this room. 
Like maybe right in front of them? I don't know. Are you sure you need it? They're heavy. The back hurts. It's uncomfortable. Don't smooth talk me. Oh, God. Darling, why do you want to have such big boobs? You become more attractive, Miss Hill. Even pervs don't look at me. All the guys want is those big boobs. That's why I want them too. Okay. Huh. Are you sure about that? Yes. Hmm. Okay, agreed. But first, I need to examine you. Undress at the counter, take a towel there, and go to the couch. Let's see how we can help you. Oi, thanks. I'll be right back. And shut the door closed on the latch. Okay. These girls are completely crazy. She has a third this week, and everyone is unhappy with themselves. Hmm. Hmm. Huh? I possibly just imagined things. Uh, my head is killing me. All right, I assume this is Luna over here. Oh, getting ready. Wiggle, wiggle. Okay. I'm ready. Where to go? What to do? What tests? Calm down, Luna. Now you... Oh, what? What's happening? No oh, shit. What it is? Did she say what it is? <laughs> I know that's not what she meant. What is it? Is there anyone else there? I'm first in line. Knock it off. Oh, my body hurts so badly. Oh. Uh, uh, hello, ladies. Where am I? What? Hmm. No, no, no. Okay. Interesting. Didn't she just come in saying the pervs don't even pay attention to her? Then she runs away first chance? Maybe it's her. You know, maybe she's the problem. Wait, Looney. You forgot your clothes. Such a... Uh, so, I don't remember you. Who are you and what are you doing here? I'm... Uh... Uh... Jordan. <laughs> I don't know. I'm Jordan. And I don't remember how I got here. Uh, such a headache. Okay, I'll take a note. Where did you get the IV from? Uh, I don't know. I thought you gave it to me, Miss uh, Miss Hill. Hmm. Hush, Rhonda. Hush. She's like, is this thought process? What's going on here? This guy is stupid and doesn't understand how to communicate with beautiful girls like you. Okay, come here. I'll see what's wrong with you. Hmm. Well, everything is clear with you. Nothing good, I should say. You've got a terrible disease, young man. What is it, Doc? Give it to me straight. <laughs> Alcoholism. You are suffering from a hangover. Now, I'll give you some aspirin, and you should feel better. Hmm. But where did I put it? I have a feeling Dr. Hill... And Jordan here may have had a night. Because she woke up with a headache too. It must be somewhere here. Hmm. What are we looking for? We see a booty. We see a booty. Wow. Here you go. You've had an aspirin and you begin to vaguely remember your life and the people you're close to. All right. Since you were a child, you've been cared for by your neighbor, Miss Carnal. She's a pleasant young woman and works very hard. It's quite possible that she hasn't noticed your absence. And big sister Jessica, bitch who's not exactly in a good place for puberty. She works as one of the guards at the asylum, and you just try to avoid her. Yesterday, you and your friends took the GOAT exam. There weren't many friends, but for some reason, their number is stubbornly blurred in your memory. Perhaps you should not have abused alcohol so much, hmm? Bullshit. Thanks. Don't mention it. Okay, Jordan. Pick up your things and get out of here. Thank you, miss. Miss. My name is Miss Hill. Okay, hurry up. Okay. I don't know what she what sound she's making, but okay. Hmm? What does that even mean? Sure, sure? Sure, sure. I don't care, whatever. Hmm, where's... Miss Hill? 
What else do you want from me? Any chance you saw my pip boy? No, I didn't. Pack up at once. I have a lot of things to do, and you're bothering me. Too bad. Thank you for everything. Kind of, uh, the wording's kind of weird. A little off, just a little bit. I'm trying to make sense of it. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. Perhaps you should look for your friends and restore the order of yesterday's events so you can find your pit boy. Well, good luck. So you know, I have to go. What the f- yeah. The, w the wording is way off. I don't know, like, it's hard to get around some of those sentences. Or like, get a grasp on what exactly he's trying to say like who cares who cares if you have to go you guys don't have any like a uh, sort of like relationship at all what a crazy day miss miss if only oh okay i forgot that uh miss spelled that way it could be miss or mrs so that's what he was saying earlier he i think he called her mrs and she corrected him by saying hey i'm not a mrs i'm not married that's what was going on there all right, now I know, you know, we all know, and we are, nothing has changed. We haven't gotten more intelligent. We just learned some more information. Wow. Perhaps I'll take an aspirin as well. My head is killing me after what happened yesterday. No, oh, she, she had a gulp there. <laughs> Not too shabby. And the guy is really fit. His ass is a sight. I think she did have her way with him, you know? I think she did. You think for a bit and remember one name. Larry. Or maybe it's Harry. I don't know. Okay. You don't remember the exact name. But remember for sure that he was redheaded. Ugh, the doc is right. I need to drink less. I need to find Harry. He lives in the same apartment block as me. So we're going to do that. Ladies and gentlemen. All right, I've got to find Harry. So, my room. He's, we said he lives in the same room as me. We're just going to go there. But I don't see him. No, we'll go back because I'm trying to find him. We said same room, right? Maybe he's in the hallway? Oh, here's somebody. Oh, finally I found him. Hey, Harry. I'm Larry. Who is it? Jordan, finally back on your feet. Nice to see you. That's right. His name is Larry. The pleasure is mine. What happened yesterday? I don't remember anything at all. I passed a damn goat yesterday. Then someone suggested to celebrate it. And then almost everything's a blur. So I remember nothing. How did I get to the infirmary? How? You got drunk, started dancing, stumbled, and fell with a crash. Huh. We dragged you to an open infirmary, put you on an IV, and left you there to sleep. Hmm, I think someone else was there. But I'm not certain. Overall, that was fun. Now, if you'll excuse me, but I have to go. Today's my first day in work. And when did you get a job? This morning, everyone got the test results on their pimp boy. I was applying for the science block. To be honest, on the lowest position. But this isn't a problem. Hey, speaking of pimp boys, have you seen mine by any chance? Um, no, I haven't. If you lost it, I think you should check the back room of old man Gibson, right in the economic part. If someone finds lost property, they usually bring it to hell. Okay, I gotta go. I'm already late. See you later. Okay. You remember old man Gibson? One incredibly nasty man with a bunch of paramours. It's worth asking him about your pet boy. Alright, we gotta find old man Gibson. And, um, he's right there. He's in storage. I'll say it one more time. I need a fuse. Made of metal? Yeah. Of a black color? Yes. And it's possible to kill a person if you throw that thing at him, isn't it? Yes, that's exactly what I need. Didn't see one. Golly, you just described it. Describe what? A f fuse. Oh, the fuse. I'll find it in no time. Hallelujah, finally. Wow, I'm so pissed at him. Who? At the old man. Jordan? Larry. For fuck's sake, my name is Harry. So there was two of them. 
Your memory started to clear up and you remember that Larry and Harry are actually twins. All right, fuck that. I'm glad to see you, buddy. Well, you were killing it yesterday. I didn't even expect that from you. It's true that you're drunk like a fish, but we found an open infirmary and threw you there to lie down for a bit. Such a beauty was still sleeping there. Just oof. It's a pity she smelled like alcohol so much that, ah, uh, and I'm glad to see you, Harry. Hey, Brad. What? Catch. The black box flew past you and Harry flew with it. Are you completely out of your mind, old man? What's your problem? You almost killed me. Almost. Oh, I'll remember that. If you say so. Okay, Jordan, it was nice to see you. I gotta go back to work now. All right, good luck. And what do you need? I lost my pit boy. Maybe someone brought one by chance? Hmm, your face looks familiar. Oh, right, it's you, Greg. I'm glad to see you. Why'd you stop visiting your old man? Actually, I'm Jordan. Yes, yes, and I'm Elvis Presley himself. Stop dreaming. So what do you need? A pit boy What pit boy? My pit boy Oh, so you need this damn thing. Yeah, someone brought it. I'll have a look. Just don't throw it at me, please. These young people are always sitting on their pit boys these days, but in my times... Dear, will you be back soon? I'm busy, woman. Don't bother me. As you say, honey. Probably some old hag, and I just gave her a nice female voice. Maybe she is nice, though. I don't know. Aha, uh -huh, found it. Catch. Ah. Uh -huh. You stand back, but you didn't get hit, to your surprise. Huh? Did you go for it? <laughs> Here you are, Greg. And try not to lose it again. Thanks. You got a pit boy. You look closely at the pit boy and understand that it's not yours. Yours was new, but this one is older than mammoths. Hey man, it's not mine. Suddenly, you heard the buzzing and felt a sharp prick to your finger. Oh, what happened? Ah, oh, shit, it pricked me. Take that back, it's not mine. Uh, like, something just went into his bloodstream. I don't know if that's going to be good or bad. Really? It is yours. I know you're a pit boy, Greg. This is the thing. It's not like that. Uh, you hear an alarm clock. Dear, what if your alarm clock is ringing? Oh, it's time for the procedure. Step aside, kid. Miss Hill, honey, I'm coming to you. Shithead. Looks like I'm not getting another pit boy. All right, well, you decide to check your messages on your new pit boy, but as expected, there was nothing. Hmm. Looks like I need to drop by the school and find out where I was assigned. Now you can use inventory to use items, track tasks, and more. Okay. Now we have to find out our test results. All right, everybody. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and stop here. We'll hit the school in another video if you guys decide that you want to see more of this. If you do, you got to let me know by smacking that like button, taking care of that thing. Let me know that you want to see more. Also, subscribe to the channel, leave comments in the description, whatever you got to do to let me know that you enjoyed the video. Also, if you want to have access to more content on censored stuff, exclusive stuff, or if you want access to the Discord server, go ahead and head over to the Patreon page, show your support, and you can find that by clicking on the link tree link in the description. Guys, take it easy. Have a good one. I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Remember? I did so long! <laughs> what do you have me making, man? Oh. Scab.